To balance this equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one nitrogen, two oxygens, but be careful because we have two more over here. So we have a total of four oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, we have two. On the product side of the equation, we have one nitrogen, three oxygens, and the one hydrogen. Whenever I have an odd number of oxygens, I find it helpful to get that to an even number. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a 2 in front of the HNO3. So now I have 3 times 2. That equals 6. 1 times 2. That'll equal 2 for the nitrogens. And then hydrogens, 1 times 2. Now I have 2 hydrogens. So that actually balanced the hydrogens as well. Let's balance the nitrogens and see what that does next. So we have 2 here and 1 here. Coefficient of 2. We have 1 nitrogen times the 2. So those are balanced. And then we need to update the oxygen atoms. So now we have 2 times 2, 4, plus these two here for a total of 6 oxygen atoms, which balances the oxygens. And we're done. This equation is balanced. One place people have problems, they'll count these two oxygens and they'll forget about these two. And that makes it very challenging to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NO2 plus H2O2. Thanks for watching.